Prosecutors said Nakemia Weberman was treated like a god in ultra-Orthodox Williamsburg and that his teenage accuser was treated like dirt. But today, sentencing day, a reversal of fortune. The judge ordered Weberman to spend 103 years in prison. My wife and I are relieved that the children in our community will be safer as a result of this trial. The victim's husband spoke on behalf of his now 19-year-old wife. News 4 is obscuring his face to protect his wife's identity. Weberman sexually abused her for three years starting when she was 12. She had gone to him for counseling after struggling with questions about her faith. Behind closed doors, he assaulted her repeatedly. She told the judge today her innocence was shattered by a gruesome invasion which had been done to her body that kept replaying in her head. Seeing her in pain gave me a lot of pain and I helped her recover. But a defiant Weberman maintains his innocence. We honestly and truly and fully believe that this is a setup, that he is innocent of the charges. And hundreds in Williamsburg donated money for his defense. We were even allowed inside this fundraiser last spring. Today, the Brooklyn DA said it wasn't easy convicting a member of the close-knit Satmar community. We were up against this wall of obstruction, this veil of secrecy that we could not penetrate. Weberman plans to file an immediate appeal, but unless it's upheld, he's unlikely to get parole until he's at least 100 years old. Meantime, Brooklyn prosecutors want other victims to come forward. In Williamsburg, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York.